There's one more for the wheel. Hey, Gorman? Yeah? More to work for us, Welford. Dry Lake Road, one man and buckboard. <laughs> that giant strike mine's doing right well by us. Jake, there's another dialect out there for you. We'll head for the wagon. Sure you don't want another man to go along, Dick? Nope. I think if I go alone, Mr. Davis, why no one will suspect that we've got a gold shipment going through. I hope you're right, Dick. Well, there's pretty near $20,000 worth in those containers. Well, goodbye, sis. See you shortly. All right, Dick. There's a heap of gold in here. Three more shipments like this, and what we're getting from the desert will just about fix us up. You're right, Gorman. I reckon we'll soon be able to take things easy. Jim, what do you think of it? There's only one man who can handle this case, and that's Baxter. Kirk Baxter. Right. I knew you'd say that, and I've already sent for him. Good. Come in. Good morning, Chief. Hello, Kirk. Hi, right, Baxter. Hello, Mason. Well, what's up? Have a seat. Thanks. Well, Kirk, you've been so successful in handling this Coyote Pass case that I feel you're the logical man to solve this. Now, wait a minute, Chief. You know, you promised me a vacation. I was just heading for home when you called. Home? Oh, I thought you sold your ranch. 
Well, I have, but but I have other interests there. Oh, girl, is it? Maybe. I suppose you'd be wondering what's happened to me. I've been gone a long time. Well, that seems to fit in nicely with this, then. This case is right in your home district. Yeah? Yes. It seems that a bunch of outlaws have been looting the gold shipments from the mine up there. They kill drivers, leave no trail, and how they learn the secret dates and routes of the shipments is a mystery. It's evident the local sheriff is unable to cope with the situation. And then as much as you're familiar with that district, you're the logical man to handle it. It must be stopped. Yes, sir. Any clues? No. Nothing except that the outlaw used silver bullets. The last driver, a man named uh, Stonewell, was found dead with three silver bullets in him. Stonewell? You mean Richard Stonewell? Yes, that's it. Richard Stonewell. That's my girl's brother. We were chums. I'm sorry, Kirk. You probably want to start right away. Yes, sir. At once. All right. at last, eh? Yep. I've been gone a long time, but I'm back to stay now. Oh, by the way, I hear outlaws have been giving you some trouble. Yeah, we tried our best, but... Uh... Maybe I can help you out. You see, I was sent here to start where you left off. Hmm. Back in the service again, eh? That's right. Well, here's some bullets I dug out of Stonewell. Silver bullets, eh? Yes. Here's some of the shells we found at the buckboard. But there's no connection between them shells and the silver bullets. One was a 44 and the other a 45. Mm. So I see. But it'd be easy to recognize a gun that fires these shells. Easy? Yep. Take a good look at that firing cap there. Firing pin hit. All these caps are marked alike. The firing pin is evidently off-center. Such a gun should be easy to recognize. What are you going to do? Have everyone around here show you their guns? Nope. But I'm going to pick up that trail. There ain't no trail, man. It ends out on the desert. And that's just where I'm going to pick it up. Look here, Kirk. There ain't nobody can live in there. No water holes, no nothing. There ain't anybody ever come back from there alive, son. Maybe I won't have to go, Sheriff. Maybe I can find the renegades right here. What are you going to do? Where are you going? To the giant strike mine. I tell you, I am not going to stand for any more of your abuse. After all, I'm not your daughter. If Dick were here, you wouldn't dare abuse me like this. While you're living in my house, and as long as I'm supporting you, you'll do as I say. I'm not going to let you treat me as you did my mother. What? Let go of me, I tell you. I'm so glad you came. Carson's been unbearable. Why did you stay away so long? Where were you? I'll explain to you later. Get 
out of my house before I have my men throw you out. I'm mighty sorry this had to happen, Carson. I came to help you. You came to what? I came here to offer you my services. I thought perhaps if I drove the next shipment of gold out of here, I might be able to find the outlaw that murdered your stepson. What makes you think you can do more than the sheriff? I have a plan of my own, and I'm pretty sure it'll work. Eh, well, what is that plan? That's one thing, Carson, I'm keeping to myself. Eh, well, we had secret plans, too, but they didn't work out. That's all right. But I'm sure Mr. Davis will accept my proposition. And listen, Carson, don't ever let me hear of you raising a hand to Beth again. Who is that, Carson? Young Baxter. Wants a job driving the next consignment through. Claims he's got a plan to catch the outlaws. That's fine. Let's put him on. Well, before we do that, I'd like to try a plan of my own. Now, when do you figure the next shipment will be ready to go? Sometime this week. Why? The express wagon will be going through here this week. What's to prevent us sending the shipment on it? That's ridiculous. Everybody knows Wait that. a minute. What if we shipped it like an everyday commodity? Suppose we put the consignment in an ordinary case, like a piece of machinery going out for repairs. Who'd suspect anything different? Say, hey, that's a clever idea, Carson. Let's keep it a secret and do it. Right. Did you miss me, Kurt? You don't know how glad I am to be back here, Beth. You know? I'm going to put you on the sea tomorrow for Bartow. You can stay there with my aunt until I come for you. Oh, I'm so glad. we'd stumble onto a silver mine in this hole. Water! Oh, here you are. Hurry up. You know, if we had a real mill, we'd get plenty of silver out of that hole. We ain't got no way of getting a real mill. You're right. So we'll just keep on grinding this way. Kind of wasteful using silver for bullets, Gorman. Yeah, kind of, but we ain't got no choice. Why don't you let me go in and get you some 44s? We get a gun so that we can use the 45s we got. Nobody knows me in town. I could. Uh... Yeah, I know, I know, but I can't afford to take a chance just for a few bullets. It's bad enough to send you in when really necessary. Someday you're going to be fouled. Strike mines doing right good for us, eh? Shorty, Butch, 
You two stay here and keep things going. All right. Let's go. All right, boys, get mounted. Get you stay here. I bet Carson will be sore about you leaving. At least he'll be wondering how I get out of town. <laughs> you come as soon as you can, won't you? Oh, you know I will, Beth. Looks like your idea was going to work out all right, Carson. There goes that express wagon rambling along, and not even the driver knows what's in that case. That's one shipment that ought to go through. That's right, David. Well, it's about time to change ships. I'll be getting back. You seen Beth go anywhere? No, I haven't. Oh, here comes your wagon now. <laughs> Goodbye. Davis. Hello, Kurt. I just put Beth on the stage. You mean the one going to Bozeville? Yep. Hey, nobody knows it, but we just sent a shipment out on it. You mean there's gold on that stage? Yep. Say, if the outlaw is tipped off, say, I'm going to catch that wagon and follow it through.
What do you want here? I came to tell you that the last shipment of gold you sent out on that stage was looted. How do you know we sent a shipment of gold on that stage? Hello, Kirk. I just heard of it, the holdup. Is that true? Yep. They took Beth and the gold and killed the driver. If you let me drive that consignment out, I probably saved you a lot of trouble. You'll get your chance on the next one, Kirk. Whatever your plan is, I hope you'll succeed. Thanks, Mr. Davis. I hope it'll be right soon, too. I'll let you know when, Kirk. I'll be ready whenever you are. Right now, I'm going back and try and find Beth. Coming back to the mine? Oh, I'll be back in a little while. I want you to understand we're not holding you captive. As soon as we clear out of here, we're dropping you off in town on our way to the border. I understand. Careful. Somebody hot on your trail. Need more pigeons. Not on our trail, eh? Well, if they can reach this far, let them go to it. Well, what about the pigeons? Well, you're about the only man that ain't known in this section. I guess it's up to you. You know where to leave them, so Carson will find them? Yeah. Well, go to it. Shipping soon, Mr. Davis? Yeah, right soon, Kirk. Does Carson know when? Later, yes. Why? Well, maybe I shouldn't say this, Mr. Davis, but doesn't it seem strange that only you and Carson, knowing about the shipment, that the news always leaks out somehow or other? Do you mean that Carson would... Oh, that's ridiculous. There are occasions when Carson couldn't possibly relay the information on time. Maybe you're right, but somehow I don't trust it. I think your suspicions are unfounded, Kirk. Maybe. I guess I'll be going along. Goodbye. Carson, you going into town for the mail? No. 
Well, since you're so congenial, I think I'll ride along with you. Sorry. Please well, near the desert road. Not me. Well, it must have been somebody else. I think you must have dropped it. No, I didn't drop it. it ain't mine. Silver bullet. You ever seen anything like that before? No, I never did. Mighty queer thing to be using, isn't it? Yes. Mighty queer. All right, partner. Drop that gun. Drop it. Turn around. Kick that gun over here. Trailing people ain't a healthy game. What's the big idea? I'll tell you more about it after I take a look at these shells. Ever see a firing pin hit like that before? What are you driving at? That you were one of the Orphan Wells.
Who's your leader? I won't tell. You can shoot me, but I won't double-cross Gorman. Gorman? So he's your leader, huh? All right, I'll get him. Just how you're going to get him? I'm going to let your horse lead me to him. I'm looking for Gorman. That's my name. What are you doing on Welford's horse? Johnson's my name. I'm a friend of Welford. How come he ain't with you? He won't be back, Gorman. The Star Packers got him. Well, they were after me, too. He gave me his horse and told me to come here. That I could lay here safe for a while. Was you right? If you're on the level, you're welcome. If not, we'll soon find out. And you'll be right sorry you came here, Johnson. You won't have to worry about me, Gorman. Only a fool would try to break in here without being right. You won't need this 44 while you're here. You can get it when you're ready to leave. Come on. I'll show you to Welford's bunk. Coyote that rode to town with you this morning trailed me here. Baxter? Yeah. And right here is where we crushed the ore. Baxter's a tricky one, Welford. If your horse takes him through, he's liable to get by and fool him. We'd better warn Gorman. Too late. He's about there by now. Well, I'll send a message. It might get through before he does. You ride to the hideout on Baxter's horse. Right.
Where did you get these men, Gorman? Picked them up off of the desert. I'm going to get out of this. Even if you could get out of here, you'd only die in the desert. Death is better than this. I'm going to put an end to all this misery. I'm going to put an end to everyone's misery in this place. Look. It's almost worn through. Oh, Beth, be ready to leave at any time. Hey, what are the pigeons for? Carry messages. Oh, I see. Carry a pigeon. Yeah. What does it say? I think maybe Gorman would like to read this. Come on. Well, Baxter, maybe you'd like to read this. I say, this is... Quit calling, Baxter. It won't be any good now. You're too good for shooting. I can use you on the wheel. All right, then. Take him down and put him to work. Emergency shipment by Dry Lake Road. Leaving at once. Another shipment from the Giant Strike Mine, huh? Well, Carson's doing right well for us. All right, Buck. Tell the boys to saddle up. Get into that manacle. Quick! I'm going to set us all free! <laughs> Come on, 
Get back from there. Put that dynamite down. I'll put it down when you toss over that gun. Put it down or I'll put a bullet through you. And if you do, this dynamite will blow you all over the desert. Put it down or I'll... Couldn't find Kirk anywhere. Confound it. All right, Slim. Come on, Carson. We'll drive the consignment ourselves. Well, Davis, I... Uh... What's the matter? Yellow? Or is it because you know there's going to be a holdup? Well, if you put it that way, Davis, come on. You go into town for the sheriff, Beth. I'll try and catch the wagon. All right, Kirk. Get down from there. What do you mean? I said get down. All right, Mr. Davis. What's the meaning of this, Crack? It means Mr. Davis, Parson here, has been tipping off the outlaws. He's responsible for all the holdups. What do you got to say, Carson? Well, he'll have a hard time proving that. No, I won't. The outlaws have been tipped off about this shipment. They're waiting for you now in ambush. But how did he get the information to them? He's been sending the messages by carrier pigeon. All right, Carson, put him up. Get on back here. Get that gold out of there.
You stay here, Mr. Davis, and guard this. But hadn't I better go with you? I'm handling this alone. Come on, Carson. Get up in that seat. Come on. You're driving ahead, Carson. And when we meet your men, if you make one false move, I'll make a sieve out of you. Drive on. I'll round up the boys, Miss Stonewell. You don't suppose we missed them, do you? I reckon not. They'll be along before we know it. you happen to be driving? Why, uh, things just worked out that way. Fine. All right, this month, boy. Get that shipper.
You get him, Harry! Are you going to accept Davis's proposition as superintendent of the mine? I'm going to leave that up to you, Beth. I think you ought to accept it. Don't you think you've been drifting long enough? All right. But right now, honey, we're going to do a little more drifting. Where to? On our honeymoon. <laughs> 